All right. Okay. Um. So Vegapunk, Vegapunk, uh, he he said something about uh, Luffy's okay. Devil Fruit, the Gummo Gummo no Me, not being mentioned in the older uh, Devil Fruit books, textbooks, right? Um, mm-hmm. and that made me that made me think: is is it like in the new Devil Fruit textbooks? Uh, is is the Hito Hito no Me Nika in the old? devil fruit textbook like is is that in the old ones or is it just like the devil fruit in general which is not mentioned in them right and vegapunk also made it seem like there's a lot of devil fruit textbooks like maybe there's been different uh uh you know how you get like an encyclopedia and then you get like different editions every year they update it Mm -hmm. you know so i'm assuming that it's kind of like a devil fruit encyclopedia that they update uh every so often Right, so um, I mean, I mean, I would say no, but then again, this reasoning is not really. I don't think it's that strong, in my opinion. And the reason why I would say no is because of Sanji's not saying anything about reading it in an encyclopedia that he had, or never mentioning it to be in those. So, but yeah, I don't think that's a strong enough reason. But it's a reason, so yeah. It made me think, you know, it it the fact that it wasn't in these encyclopedias, does that make does that does is is that like the reason Blackbeard didn't go for that devil fruit? Maybe he just didn't even notice like know about the the gummo gummo no me, you know what I mean? And the truth behind it. But but yeah, yeah, I guess. I, 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 I don't know, because I feel as though I could see Blackbeard going for that devil fruit if if he really knew about how it worked, you know. But, yeah, but uh, like if it... Cube, what you think about the whole devil fruit? No, uh, no mention of the devil fruits in the encyclopedia. Well, first of all, I, I like this because I've been going with this idea before, but I need to know about the encyclopedia because I always thought it was very weird how the information about Del Fruit is so diverse. And even though there's an encyclopedia, so I always made an assumption maybe at O'Hara, they manufactured the encyclopedia before they had like stories of the different Devil Fruits, like fables. You know how in one piece there's oh Devil Fruits are are in different themes that is very similar in, in fables, the different parts of a Devil Fruit like the quirk, the theme, the powers. You know. That you know every character follows that that is an embodiment of that of that ability. So uh, I like that idea. So for my take, I think the encyclopedia, the one that they have with the Yami and the Gomu, I think it's it's the most recent stuff, and that they gathered all the stories into one uh, story, like the one encyclopedia. Okay. That was a and that was and I remember correctly in history. That's why they created encyclopedia to gather all ter- a specific type of knowledge in one book. Okay. So maybe like it's pretty recent. Joy Boy. So with like um, the the Gumma Gumma no Me being in like more recent encyclopedias, I wonder if it was only added just because of Luffy's like existence. Because and that's of, why it was put in there. You said because, because like, of Luffy. With, with like, yeah, yeah. Because like with how Vegas Punk says it in the um, official, he says even in the oldest books of devil fruits so that that would imply that even like more than newer ones w- wouldn't have the uh luffy's fruit in it Hear that okay so you're saying that none of the books have it well unless it's like the most recent one and that would just be be because of luffy okay. so like the there's still like a possibilities like there is no like regular rubber fruit right Would... but uh, like just you know it's what's confirmed in data book that the in the back in, the, in a couple of years ago that confirmed that the yami and the gomu and the devil the devil for the scopedia are the only one listed with a picture of a fruit so uh, they, they are both listed but just in the newer one maybe uh, the you... data, I, never mind, i'm not gonna say anything do you think maybe that's because uh the world government 
might be trying to hide it, maybe because it's because they're trying to hide the existence of that fruit so they don't want it in the de- data book possibly like because we know that they've known about the devil fruit for a long time at this point but yet it's not in these books so maybe they're they're preventing it from going into the books like would y'all would y'all think maybe that could be a possibility Maybe, mm, maybe, maybe. Cause like, just based on what we know about the gummo gummo no me, or aka the hito hito no me Nika, um, it seems like maybe the devil fruit hot like cause we cause we learned that it has a will right it has a will so maybe it like avoids people. Right, like especially like unworthy people, like maybe it only comes out and and like shows itself when there's somebody in the world that that is worthy of it, you know, or some or or, or fated to to carry the will of Nika, you know what I mean? So, cause cause we know that the world government eventually had um possession of it, but then. Shanks stole it, getting who's who in trouble, and then eventually Luffy ate it. And it's almost like Luffy was fated to have this devil fruit. So maybe before Luffy came around, maybe before he was born and before the world government had that devil fruit or uh, somehow got possession of it, maybe the devil fruit has been kind of lost in time. You know what I mean? Maybe it's been lost in time. Like hiding, hiding until somebody worthy enough comes around to, you know, take it on. You know, what you think, Angel? Uh, I don't understand. Do you think, do you think the Gummo Gummo no Me, do you think it, it's been hiding from the world until like Luffy came around? You think maybe that's why it's like not in the data books because it it it's almost like it didn't exist. It doesn't exist if it's not like uh, meant to exist at that point. You know what I mean? Like, all right, like like do you you get what I'm saying, Joy Boy? Yeah, I get what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, like yeah, like um, it'd be interesting, like if the fruit could control like its reincarnation cycle, like. It, like it just waited like it wasn't even like a, in a fruit yet yeah like once the original user died like if it could control its own reincarnation cycle like it could just stay outside of the loop until it wants to i could almost imagine like it didn't bloom until luffy was born right yeah that's, like, that's pretty much what i'm saying too yeah but didn't they they've almost cut it like multiple times in the past yeah. Yeah, that, that was the only thing like keeping me from it. That they almost caught it because I, I I remember it said been elusive to the world government. Yeah, but they said we tried many times, and every time it's like the fruit itself is evading us. Oh, so they made like they had made attempts. They didn't make attempts. Were or again because I've had a speculation that maybe there's been more Joy Boys than than Luffy. You yeah. know, like maybe there existed other joy boys like i i believe roger might have been a joy boy except it's just he was too early so he wasn't or or nolan think of it maybe nolan nolan has a lot of similarities maybe nolan maybe nolan so during the time that they existed maybe the the, uh gummo gummo came into existence they just never actually found it plus they weren't even the successful Joy Boys, so you know that was part of the reason why they weren't successful, because they didn't have the the uh, Sun God Nika fruit, as well as maybe the ancient weapons weren't around, and you know what I mean. Like, and when I say Roger was Joy Boy, I mean he was a candidate to be Joy Boy. Yeah, yeah, a candidate. Yeah, it's we just, do. it's and, just he couldn't also, be Joy Boy because he was too early. Yeah, and also goes with this idea that I thought that maybe certain fruits. Or like sister or brother fruit, like you know when 
when one appears, the other one is like attracted to the other one. You know what I mean? Like how we had the three first admirals having specific logias. That mm -hmm. Buggy, Luffy's, and, Bla and Blackbeard's fruit literally look the same. They're the same color, just the shape is a bit different. The type of fruit is different. Mm. It's basically the same color. It's basically the same fruit in different shapes. So maybe yeah. like there's like some Delphi fruit that, uh, like when one comes apart, when it comes back, to, uh, comes back, the others get attracted towards it. Yeah. I mean, you know how I feel about that. I think I think Blackbeard's fruit is like the 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 antithesis fruit of Luffy's devil fruit. Like if, if Luffy's is the sun god, I think Blackbeard's might be the moon god or something. Mm -hmm. You know, that's has been my speculation for a while now. Um What about uh Vegapunk's knowledge of devil fruits and and, and mm. Nika, right? Like he he gave us that whole speech about devil fruits and desire and all that. Like, like <laughs> to me, to me, I, I, I'll go first this time because I know, I know I usually ask you guys, but I'll give y'all a chance to uh, think of you know what y'all want to say. Um, to me though, I think this kind of plays into what me and Elis talk about about hockey, right? About hockey being able to create devil fruit abilities. Cause when you look at desire, like when I when I think of desire, or I think it was um, different in the the uh, the official. I think I think it's hope. I think that's what the uh, the official talked about hope, right? Hope and desire. I look at is like characteristics of your will, right? Like if if I desire something so much, right? I desire to. Uh, do something so much, my will almost creates it, right? Like, like, and when we we know will and hockey are pretty much one and the same, and I feel as though will and desire are very related, right? Like, if like Luffy, he desires to be pirate king, so his will reflects that desire, right? His will pushes him forward and makes it and. and, and makes him continue to fight until he wins. He wins because he wills himself to win a lot of the times, right? So, it, it, so it just kind of plays into this idea that hockey or, or your will is what causes or what can manifest devil fruit abilities, like abilities. And... We know Zoro isn't a devil fruit user, but the man desires, he, he desires to be the world's strongest swordsman, right? And so his will reflects that desire to be the world's strongest swordsman. And he has almost an unbreakable will because, you know, he, he he's like, I can't lose or I won't be the world's strongest swordsman. So his will is so strong that he's able to create stuff like the Ashura uh, transformation, if, if you want to call that, uh, the technique, Ashura technique, which is almost devil fruit ability-like, you know what I'm saying? Because he's really like manifesting an ability. So I don't know. To me, it just kind of validates a theory that I already kind of believe when it comes to devil fruits, and that's, that hockey creates devil fruit uh, powers. Um, who wants to go first? I'll let, I'll let well, one of y'all. Uh, Q? I'd like to go first. Go well, first Q. of all, yeah, I completely agree. Because uh, I think we all agree, especially with the e -Let's talk, we were all agreement that uh, hockey had an influence. And I always thought, like, I always been saying, especially with Angel, we were talking and always saying that this thing with dreams, I always been saying that it's more inherited dreams. Like, I think people like, with Del Fruit and with hockey, you also inherit people's dreams. So I did like the fact that he they talked about desire, people, the dreams that they dreamed about, powers that they dreamed about, which would manifest. And what explains a lot of paramecia now, a lot of paramecia makes sense now, that we mm. couldn't understand how somebody can have, like, how could somebody one day decide to become a Moshi man, you know? But maybe there's a reason why. Maybe he was somebody who was so, like, starving, he, and he just wanted to eat, like, dessert, and he was never able to eat dessert, and, you know, we never know, so it's actually quite interesting. And I would also add on to your whole uh, Zoro thing, and with, this is a theory that I think Angel and I were talking about, is what if 
the Grim Reaper part, you know, when he turns to, he falls to Grim Reaper. What if it's just after he beat the king and he says, I'm going to become the king of hell? What if it's literally his desire had manifested the Grim Reaper? It's not, it's an entity created by Zoro's will. And like he was like, you know, he was face to face with his own will. Mm. Okay. That it's not like an entity by itself, like death, but more like, you know, himself manifested it, which I so do like this idea. If Zoro manifested the Green Re Grim Reaper. Interesting. Like, well, maybe I don't really... Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Because he uh, did say at the end, just before that, before destroying the king, he says, I'm going to become the king of hell. Yeah. You know, and he, he, sla he slashed him. He falls, and then the Grim Reaper appears right in front of him. Yeah. And his, and his body can move, but I think it's a, it was a mind thing. It was a mental thing. It was, he was in his mind, like his will was looking at him. Yeah. I don't know. Like, no, but I'm not sure, but it's just a thought. Now, I get what you're saying. Um, you're saying he manifested the Grim Reaper. That's interesting. That's interesting. I don't really have nothing to add to that, but that's an interesting thought. Um, Angel? Or, uh... I need to rewatch the Kaku fight real quick. I know. I'll give you my answer. <laughs> Joy Boy. This guy, bro. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm in agreement with what, what you were saying, Blump. And, uh, yeah, and like, uh, I talked to Hugh about uh, this uh, after the chapter came out um, about, like, Zoro possibly manifesting a Ashura uh, devil fruit and, like, maybe Nami will manifest like a weather devil fruit. Mm -hmm. But my biggest interest was uh, the red hair pirate because as of right now, like uh, the general consensus is no one has a fruit on his crew. And after this chapter, I was wondering what if that's because they're trying to make their own devil fruits. And well, once you see film red, like, uh, cause the minor spoilers, uh, the red hair pirates do show up and fight and the way that uh the crew fights is very unorthodox and it's kind of like uh like knowing that they don't have devil fruits what they were doing kind of like showcased unnatural power yeah like something like a regular person in the one piece world wouldn't be able to do yeah i mean so that, that that, that that was my initial thought after the chapter is that the reason that the red-haired pirates don't have fruits is because they're trying to manifest their own and that would give them like the most the best synergy with the whatever powers they come up with instead of eating a devil fruit yeah and uh kaido also did say like you know hockey trumps like you know like he also hyped up hockey like it could do some a lot of things that we weren't even aware of just yet, right? And, and we know a good bit of hockey, right? We know good about Rio. We know about advanced armament, advanced observation, uh, advanced conquers. Um, like we know a good bit of of information on how hockey works, but Kaido kind of based on what Kaido implied was that there was more to hockey that, you know, we may not even be aware of, be aware of. And that just makes me think like maybe one of those things are, or is the fact that it can grant ability, like, especially depending on how, like your frequency and, you know, and, and how hard you train it, I guess it can manifest certain abilities. You know what I mean? And uh, Stan says Arthur, the library of O'Hara, made a clarification that there was a misunderstanding because what Vegapunk, what Vegapunk said wasn't translated properly. In the Japanese version, what Vegapunk said is not meant to be taken literally, but rather philosophically. In, Je in Japanese, it sounds more like that people desire to be more and that through technically they were able to create the devil fruits and in that way they realized their dreams and not 
just magically spawn them because they wish them into existence. I'm a little confused of where you're going. Uh, Arthur made a video on it yesterday, so I would recommend you check it out so that you get more clarity on the subject. I mean, Arthur ain't necessarily older, but okay. <laughs> uh, say what? I have my answer. What's your answer, Angel? My answer is yes, I feel he was creating a devil fruit ability after rewatching the scene. I mean, in the old, in the original scene from, uh, which I don't know, character? 2006. Which character? You just oh, said Zoro. Okay. Zoro. From, from the original scene in like 2006, 2000, I don't know when. He doesn't say anything. Like, he just says Nine Sword style, demon, whatever. And then he talks about the Path of Carnage. But in the reanimation, he talks about the desire for something. But I don't, I don't really understand what it is. But yeah, so I think it's probably Devil Fruit, something to do with Devil Fruit abilities. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, but as far as staying, man, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't necessarily, I I, I mean, I, I guess I would have to watch the video, but again, it's, it's just Arthur's opinion on it, so I, I don't. I don't really know like how it being philo like philosophical how that really relate. You know, like it still doesn't change the fact that devil fruits had to come from something. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I know, but I see because I, I know the information. It's a, a bit about the information. I don't know the video, but I've heard about it. It's more like in Japanese, the meaning of those words is much more nuanced than in English. In English, it's quite simple, but if you the way the Japanese explained it, it's much, it could be much broader in, uh, in different ways. So that's why he means, I think. What words? Desire? Uh, the, the desire, because basically the word that they use can mean desire, wish, and uh, dream. But in different contexts on the way uh, Vegapunk tells it, it could be actually quite more philosophical, meaning that it's quite a broad thing. It hasn't, it wasn't, it's not, it could be more precise in Japanese. I think that's the thing, but I'm not sure. I just read a snippet of it and I didn't see the video, but that's where the direction was going with it. Mm. I don't know. I still, think that's what he's, uh, yeah. it, it it really still doesn't change my opinion on where devil fruits come from. So I mean, I, I yeah, yeah, like you know, you know, it, regardless how philosophical, how philosophical, <laughs> philosophical, <laughs> philosophical, uh, regardless how uh, philosophical you could say Vegapunk's words were, I think there still is some truth behind how wanting something yeah. enough could could spawn devil fruit abilities and could push evolution and uh pretty much create devil fruits you know now I, yeah. I don't i don't know if that created devil fruits i think those things i think like the desire and everything maybe the desire for power or whatever or the desire to to, to evolve I think that might have created the abilities in Devil Fruit user, like the the Devil Fruit abilities. But I think actual Devil Fruits possibly come from people, right? I think I think yeah, like people, maybe p the people who did create these abilities. I think that the Devil Fruits come from them. You know what I mean? Like that's that's I my. Agree. Uh, uh, Stan says, also, "Go ahead." For our, for I was just gonna say, this all goes to this idea. I was talking, talking like a month or two ago, that saying that maybe like the concept of conquerors hockey is for non devil food users the first step, like the first step of awakening for non devil food users. Like awakening, like conquerors is literally of a form of a minor awakening, like the first ingredient. Yeah. You desire, you know, having a hockey where you have a king, and Bob, you unlock your conquerors hockey. Yeah. So yeah, I do like that. Stan says basically Vegapunk's yeah. speech was not translated properly because in the Japanese version the meaning of what he is saying is different from the English version. I got I understand that part. In Japanese it sounds more like people dream to have these powers and through the use of technology they created the devil fruits and not just magically spawn them because they 
wish very hard for them. Okay, I, I get what oh, you're dude. saying. I get what you're saying. Now. They made it mechanically. No, okay, that's cool. I don't. But I'm I, not surprised. I don't think. I don't think like what I'm saying is I'm not saying they wished for the devil fruits, it, which spawned devil fruits. Like that's not what I'm saying. I get I, I get what you're saying though. You're saying like it, they were created. I don't I don't agree that they were. I don't agree with either of those uh, propositions you said. I, I don't think that they techno. I don't think they were like techno created with technology, and I don't think that they wanted something and then uh, it spawned. Like again, I think that they were. I think back in the ancient kingdom, they probably were so proficient at hockey, right? That you know, because they desire to be stronger or they desire to have certain abilities. So they were so proficient in hockey that they were able to create abilities with this hockey. And I, and the reason why I think that is because based on what we've seen, like we, we see Zoro, we seen Sanji, two characters that are not devil fruit users at all, but yet they have devil fruit like abilities that they've shown us that they use. Sanji is able to, like light his leg on fire, like he has the meta meta no me, but he doesn't. Right now, you could for Sanji, you could probably say that is technology. You you could like because he's a vent smoke. Zoro, on the other hand, Zoro's able to manifest like he has that Ashura mode, right? And and it it he manifests like these like three heads or two more heads and then uh, four more arms and four more legs. So, this is like him creating a devil fruit ability. I still, I still believe Sanji falls under that as well. But a lot of people, it can be argued that that's more of his biology for Sanji. But even Luffy, Luffy's able to use fire, right? And he's not, um, he's not, he's not like a meta meta user either. I, but. With Luffy, it's tough with Luffy and Sanji because for Luffy, you could say it's the sun god devil fruit. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, and like I said, in his awakening, and if his awakening goes like literally to his like the the, the form that the Nika had, the white hair could also explain maybe a Lunarian, and so the fire could explain Lunarian origin. And not you know, so but that's yeah, also the, the difficulty of Luffy. But yeah, like I, um, but Zoro is able to create. Even like uh, Brook, Brook, Brook has devil fruit, so I can't, I can't use Brook and all his devil, all his abilities make sense for his devil fruit. But um, but yeah. So my point is like you, like an individual could create devil fruit abilities, and I think through technology, I believe through technology and the people who created these abilities, that's how devil fruits were created through technology. But it was created from the people who used their hockey in order to manifest these abilities. Like, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying, like, they wished really hard and then, bam, these devil fruits were made. <laughs> I, I think it was a product of hockey. But, uh, yeah, anybody else got anything else on that? Yeah, like, um... Like what oh. you're saying about like how they use technology to uh, like they they manifest the powers and made use technology to make the fruits. I think it was more of like um, once those people died, their will was so great that it, mm -hmm. it, it was left behind, and then they just manifested in nearby fruits or whatever. But yep. uh, I don't think they used like technology like with how Vegapunk is making artificial fruits. Yeah, to make that, the tree double fruits. I think it was more of like uh, their will was so great. That to me, uh, this this that, whole thing with uh, with this possibility of devil fruits being manufactured. <clears throat> I mean, the idea. I don't. I, I don't. I mean, I don't mind the idea. Actually, the idea honestly makes more sense to me because if devil fruits came from, like, with what joy with what Joy Boy says, like devil fruits coming from people who die like it just wouldn't make sense for me for what's his name like i wouldn't be able to come up with a reason for uh vegapunk to be able to recreate a paramecia 
or a zone if it just came from someone's will or desire. Not, I mean, a paramecia or logia. A zone, possibly, but those other two, I wouldn't be able to give myself a, a reason on how he's able to do that. So, yeah. I mean, this man figure thing, I mean, I'm not going to say it's he, he it's 100% right because I don't know. But if it is right, to me, it would make more sense. Yeah, but uh, As, but but speaking of what you said, Joy Boy, um, I I let me clarify, right? Let me clarify. Um, I I I don't know if I'm not saying that it came from technology for certain. I'm just saying it could have came from technology. I don't like again. I I don't know, but my belief is because we we know that because a lot of the speculation is that devil fruits are grown from the Adam and Eve tree, right? So I, what I'm saying is I think that um, the Adam and Eve tree were created pretty much based on um, maybe it was a grave where they, like these people who created these abilities, maybe it was like a graveyard that, that they planted and then like a, a, like their will manifested into this big tree to create the devil fruits. Or maybe, maybe there was some actual technologic, some actual, there's some like intervention with technology that created these trees. Like, that's what I'm saying. But ultimately, I think the people from the, maybe the ancient kingdom created these devil fruit abilities. How they turned into fruits, I don't know. Maybe it was a, a natural process through, you know, they was buried all in one area and that created like a tree. Or maybe the world government or the twenty kingdoms back in the day, maybe they was like, "Hey, these these people they they were strong and they created these devil these abilities. Maybe we could turn those turn them into us. Uh, maybe we could use those their abilities somehow. Maybe turn them into fruits or something. And then technology was uh, involved in that. Like that's what I'm saying. Uh, I have a hot take uh, because. My that's how I see it is that the way they talk about the sea mother and how they talk about the advanced technology of the ancient kingdom. I'm wondering if it's not like a word on game, like literally the advanced technology is literally a technology that lets them like advance. Because if you look at all of the the fishmen uh, energy pills, the strong world, the sick, the IQ pills, it's all about progressing physical and mental prowess into people, like advancing, you know, you're awakened. And, you know, some of them have white hair, like in Fishman Island. And I think you had that in Strong World, some of them that abused it. So I'm wondering if, uh, and we know there's the Adam tree, the tree of knowledge, and the Eve tree. I'm wondering if, like, a long time ago, there was a place like the Garden of Eden, and where humans literally, uh, you know, transfused their wills into fruit. And would explain why the sea mother, like, punished them, because they she maybe corrupted the, 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 the Garden of Eden. Hmm. That's how I, that's how I see things because I do think that there's something around there. Yeah. Because there's a biblical side of devil fruit, and it's the only thing that, that the only thing that it would fit. So I don't think the Adam tree and Eve two were like in the tree of knowledge were like there. There were the reasons for devil fruit, but maybe they they stem from the same origin as devil fruit, and maybe like a, a concept of the garden of Eden. That's where it's. All I mean, from. it definitely does have connection with with uh, the Bible. The yeah. devil fruits, you know, we know that the devil ate, had convinced Eve to eat the, the fruit of knowledge and everything. So, yeah. Um, Stan says, uh, just like in our world, because people dream to fly, we create airplanes because we know that the ancient kingdom is more advanced because of its technology. And so far, we'll be, what we've seen P Vegapunk do, like he's warping he is able to mimic devil fruit abilities without having a devil, a warping devil fruit. Yeah. With technology. And he says, yeah, could it, it could be tech mixed with hockey to create devil fruits. Um, or maybe tech mixed with the ancient powers source that Vegapunk is trying to recreate. Yeah. I mean, and, and that, that power source I think is like, I've talked a lot about that power source, how I think that could be, uh, uh the key to a lot of things and it could be it could maybe the power source is uh maybe the power source is related to it right because 
One thing Best Generations he talks about is is uh, Devil Fruits being made of light, right? Being made of light, like light having something to do with with Devil Fruits. And if you look at this 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 eternal flame or whatever this power source that Vega Punk be talking about, maybe that's connected into the creation of real devil. That maybe that's why Vega Punk can't create devil fruits like exactly like devil fruits like maybe his artificial fruits aren't exactly like devil fruits because he's missing that that key ingredient that light that he's been talking about but uh vegapunk's knowledge on on um nika what about that like you know how much does vegapunk know you know this is very weird this is the weirdest part because it was the other day with Angel Oscar Best G and he did the brought out the stake. It looks like Vegapunk before even seeing the screen he knew that he was in Nika. Oh yeah, cause it's like, hey, so like he shows up and like, hey, so it, it, is that white or he says something about him, like even Yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Cause I think I, I guess he weird. heard what what happened in Wano. He must have, you know, had eyes in Wano or something. Mm-hmm. He says, has the warrior in white appeared? Yeah. I've also probably seen Luffy's bounty poster. Ah, uh, yeah, it's your uh, bounty picture. You're right, you're right. His bounty picture. That's I true. I forgot. Nah, that, nice that's... catch, Joey boy. 4-1. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> But and you that, know, that's probably like one of the main reasons like Vega Punk wanted to meet with uh, Luffy too, because of seeing his bounty poster and making the connection with Nika. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, but well, Vega Punk knows a lot about Nika, and I'm I'm kind of itching to see if like Jimbe brings any of it up. You know, like mm-hmm. we talked about with who's who. You know that, bro. Like, you know hey, that, bro. Yeah, Nika. I know. I know that Nika. I know that Nika. That's my Nika. That's my Nika. Shout out to okay. my Nika. <laughs> shout out to shout out to all my Nikas, man. Shout out to all my Nikas. <laughs> uh, all right. So anybody, y'all, y'all, anybody got anything when it comes to like Vegapunk, De- Devil Fruits, or 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 Sun God Nika, where he potentially might know about Nika. Uh, yeah, because I know I talked to that with Angel. I don't know if I talked about Zero Blanc, but when we were brainstorming, you know, One Piece Fury, uh, I found out that the word mad is actually a Viking term for the word what? God. The word for, what? Uh, mad mad is, a, is a Viking term in which it basically means the gift of God. And if you take the gift of God, it's a passage of the Bible that talks about the Son of God. So literally, Son of God. So I do like, I do think like the mad might have like a more story like their lore might really be int- or oriented around Sun God Nika. Like they've been trying to find find out more about him. Mm. Guys, I think okay, I don't think Nika is from the voice century. Because I'm I looking at think... this and he says he looks just like the god who appears in the oldest of text. Yeah. And we know that they like and we know that like you know, history and the voice entry has been erased. So does that mean like you can find out about Nika? Like, like this is like this just makes me curious more. Like, if you read about stuff that happened like before those nine hundred to eight hundred years, would you just run up on it? Like, would you come upon his existence? Well, he has a whole, whole, whole name that's been erased from the historical record. Yeah. Oh, he has a whole it's book. in that chapter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think Nika is from the Void Century either. I think Nika is before the Void Century. I think Nika is before came around before Joy Boy. I would, if anything, I've said I, I I think that Nika is the original Will that was eventually carried by Joy Boy and then eventually carried by like uh, Luffy, you know. But I think Nika is the yeah. original though. But the name is the Nika fruit, and literally nobody has the second person has awakened in 800 years, so we know he's at least 800 years old, minimum. In that sense, you know. But then we'll again, if my theory that devil fruits came came 
about at the end of the void century. Cause like, I personally think, I think devil fruits are made from the people of the void, the ancient kingdom. Like I, that's what I believe. I think, I think, I think the people of the ancient kingdom, uh, discovered how to create these abilities. Right. Um, with, through the use of hockey, like I've said, I think they learned how to do this. And then they went to war with the, the 20 kingdoms, which became the world government and they lost. And I think somehow either, either, you know, they were buried and they became devil fruits on their own or the world government turned them into devil fruits. I think it's one of those two. I, at least that's my, my theory on them. So if that is the case, then the sun god Nika, that mean Nika would have had to have been buried there as well. You know what I mean? Which would say which would say that Nika was around during the void century. I'm just saying according to my uh my theory. But I also think Nika possibly could have been before uh Joy Boy. So I, I honestly don't know what to believe. You know, I got two contradicting theories. <laughs> That I'm holding on to, so it's, it's tough. I do think you're right that it might be because I always wondered, like certain Del fruits, let's say lineage factor Del fruits, we know that maybe emotion do play a factor, and a lot of them do like hostile type of thing, like you know, a kind of fruit gets upset. Green Bull looks to be like quite also quite a fierce person, like what uh, what's called a uh, big mom's fruit, you know, the way always using people. So it would make sense, Luffy being the warrior of liberation. So there has to be a reason why he needs to liberate. So I would think that the moment they manifested those will, those fruits, it wasn't like a peaceful time. It doesn't seem to be they were peaceful times. So you know I what? Do think you might be right. You might be right about the end of the void century. You kind of made me think. What if what if uh, Nika was what what if there was a, a original devil fruit and that was that devil fruit and. And the other devil fruits that came after were just kind of like re- copying the process that the Nika devil fruit went through or something. But um, I don't know. That was just kind of way a workaround. Well, <laughs> I had to think of. So Shanks did say just like that. I could send the panel afterwards. He did say, beginning of the story in the flashback, that uh, the devil fruits are, are carnations of the sea devil. Mm. They're all carnations of the sea devil, so. They could have been initial fruit, and then all of them came from that fruit. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all I really got on Devil Fruits and Sun God Nika. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to know where we go from here, right? Um, exactly. Joy Boy, you got anything to add? Or anything you want to close this, this part of the discussion with? Um. I guess it would kind of connect back, um, but like how we were talking like at the beginning of the stream with the cover story about like pacifists being on uh, the ship flag, mega uh, the mad ship. Um, because I mean, Vegapunk's dream is to create power, like a unlimited power source that everybody could use. But that was, I think, that was the the means to his real goal, which is peace hmm. and uh and i think that's also why he's like super interested in sun god nika because he was a liberator mm-hmm. like an almost like a warrior for peace mm-hmm. so I, I think that's like why like the whole pacifist and pacifista like name is the way it is yeah mm-hmm. also oh wait never mind because I don't know if we're still on the same subject. We're still on the same set. We're, I'm giving y'all a chance to close out whatever y'all got to, to end this subject up. Uh, so I, I was going to mention that, you know, how, what's his name? Q mentioned that earlier they have been chasing this fruit for 800 years. And then they say that no one has been able to, you know, unlock that fruit. Well, in an earlier chapter, they say no one has been unable to, no one has been able to unlock the fruit or awaken the fruit in centuries which makes me more curious that's all i was gonna say that just makes you curious (laughs) that's that's how angel hey you know so 
I'm looking at some. It just made me so curious. That, it just made me curious. Like, yeah, but the fact that they say that, like, but the fact that they say that, like, it shows like, to me, that just shows like, awakening this fruit doesn't really make a done deal for Luffy completing his goal. Yeah. Because the fact that they say that they've they've encountered someone who's awakened this fruit means uh, it's not as strong as we think. Man, so I was thinking. So I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm gonna close it out with this. You know, it's something I just kind of um thought of, right? Like, what if the devil fruits were kind of prisons? Like, what if they were like almost prisons, right? Like they were prisons to to, to trap the will of you know the the people in the ancient kingdom and the job for Luffy is you know. Cause, cause y'all kept, cause y'all, y'all kind of gave me this idea when y'all kept saying, talking about Luffy being the warrior of liberation. What if his goal, is, like one of the the end goals, is to liberate the wills that are trapped within the devil fruits? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, would you say? I said, what would happen to uh, people that currently have a devil fruit power then, if that was the case? They might just lose their abilities. Like, if, if he, yeah. you know, like, I, I don't think it would be like they'd die, maybe, you know, because it's not like, it's not like you're just taking the devil fruit out of them or nothing. It's just you're actually just liberating the, the, the will, and then maybe it leaves without any repercussions to the person. Maybe they still keep the abilities, or maybe they lose the abilities, but the actual will of the devil fruit itself um, might go away and it also might make it to where the user could swim again right because mm-hmm. that's that's kind of a prison in itself as well not being able to swim being a pirate that can't swim so just imagine if you know you liberate the will and you're you're giving the purse the user the ability to, to swim again so i i don't know i just it's just a thought that came in my mind you know Cause I'm starting to kind of look at Devil Fruits possibly being like a prison for the spirit or the will of the previous uh, or, or or the originators of them. But yeah, that would be interesting. Like if it goes that way, like like if the wills do get freed, would we see like uh, the original users that made these fruit? Like, would we see? Like Joy Boy or Nico, if they're separate. Good point. You know, It'd be good like point. a Jedi ghost thing. Good point. You know, but it just, it just makes me think. You know, like just talking about how the, especially especially it it would, that would make more sense if if like this my speculation about like the 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 twenty kingdoms, aka the world government, tr- like. Turning, turning the uh, ancient kingdom people into these devil fruits, that would definitely make more sense. Cause it's like they're almost punishing them. They're almost punishing them by turning them into these devil fruits, and it it just makes me it just makes makes me think. Cause we know that they they call people with the D initial devils, right? So if these people that were turned into devil fruits were also D's, and that's where the devil and the the, the the name devil fruit come from because they came from devils quote unquote you know what I mean emu has the the devil fruit devil fruit devil fruit <laughs> maybe but emu- like I like I said that as a joke but like I, I started to think about it like uh, if that if that was the case or whatever like if, if they could possibly have like uh, access to all like devil fruit powers. Yeah, and then that would be like uh, be like Kaguya, right? Yeah. No, you you actually said something that made a lot of sense that I kind of I, I considered as well. If Eam had like Eam's ability were to creep, were creating devil fruits, you know what I'm saying? Like if Eam could turn people into devil fruits, you know. Well, it, what if it's, what if it's a sea monster devil fruit literally? The water logia or something like that, you know, like the what they consider the, the you know the mother nature, devil fruit. 
I don't know. I mean, maybe, you know, like we talk about earth God, right? We we talk about yeah. Luffy being sun God. If Eam is the, the, the earth God, maybe with those earth God abilities, Eam could turn people into fruits and turning yeah. people into fruits. You put their, their abilities in those fruits as well. And I think for the Japanese folklore uh, and elements, uh, there's no like earth and water. It's nature. They're part of the nature element, which is earth and water in it. Yeah. So it would make sense. 